Okay, so we're going to do a quick lesson on equations with rational exponents. So I know you're sick of the word rational, but this isn't as bad as all those rational equations we did, or rational stuff we did past nine weeks. Um, so first off, just a reminder, so that you know the vocabulary, an exponent, you have x squared, this is the exponent. All right, the little number up there. You have x to the m power. m is the exponent. So when I talk about exponents, I'm talking about whatever is up in the little corner that it's being raised to the power of. So of course, x squared, you know, is x times x. If I add x to the fourth, it would be x times x times x times x, four times, et cetera. And I think everybody should uh, know that pretty well. So I have to um, make some, one thing clear for you. Rational exponents. So if you recall, rational means it can be written as a fraction. So when we talk about rational exponent, we're saying what if your exponent, your number in the corner, is a fraction, m over n? Well, general form, you can rewrite that as the nth root of x to the m. Basically, the number on top stays inside. The number on bottom becomes our root. So if you recall, this is a square root. This is a cube root, right? We just tell you cube root equations. If you have a three out here, it's a cube root. So like if this n was a three, you can have a fourth root, you can have a fifth root, etc. Square root doesn't have any number. So the default invisible number there is two, okay? So if you ever see something with a two in here, that's gonna to translate to a square root, okay? So just to brief practice here, if I had x to the 3 fifth, that would be the same as saying, fifth root of x cubed. The top number of the fraction of the rational exponent goes inside, bottom number goes outside, okay? If I had x to the 10 sevenths, that would be the seventh root, bottom number on outside, of x to the 10th power, top number on inside, okay? If I had x to the one half, bottom number on outside, two, top number on inside, one. But x to the one, x one time, is the same as just x. And like I said, default is two, so you don't need this either. In other words, x to the one half is the same as square root of x. Okay, and generally, if you had x to the one third, that's the same as cube root of x because the three bottom number goes outside, and if you have one in the top on the inside, that's the same as having nothing at all, right? One's the default there. So, in general, x to the m over n, you can split up this m and n by putting m on the inside and on the outside. Now, the reason this is important is that, in my opinion, it makes it easier to solve equations with rational exponents. So I'm going to put this up here off to the side as a reminder. So starting with a real simple one, let's see. x to the 3 halves equals 27. So if you were to say, what do you do to um, find the opposite, of, uh, do the same to both sides, cancel stuff out, find x, 
you're not really sure what to do with this, right? But I can break it down so that it looks like this, and then I'll know what to do. So top number goes on the inside, so this is x cubed. Bottom number goes on the outside, too. So this isn't really necessary. It's the same as just square root. If it helps you not be as confused, you can leave it in there. I don't care. But you got to be able to recognize because in any other tests that you see, it's not going to have a two there. So you got to, if you want to leave it in there when you work, that's fine. But you got to be able to recognize when you don't see anything, it's an invisible two. So I like to split it up and make it look like this with the radical. Math is radical. Um, because then I can take one step at a time to solve. Because I know how to cancel square root, right? We cancel square root with square. And you always do the same to both sides. So I squared my 27 as well. So now I just have x cubed. And 27 squared is 729. Now, I still got to get x by itself. Right now we have this cube in the way. Um, so how do we get rid of the cube? Well, cancel out roots with powers, right? Roots with exponents. Square canceled out square root. So cube is canceled out by cube root. Okay. I think mostly we've worked on doing it the opposite way. We cancel out cube root with cube, but it always works both ways, right? Cancel out addition with subtraction, cancel out subtraction with addition. Cancel out cube root with cube, cancel out cube with cube root. So cube root and cube cancel out. And now you need the cube root of 729. This is something you do on a calculator. And more than likely on your calculator, you'll have to enter 729 to the power of one-third. Because remember, as I had just laid out, one-third is the same as cube root. So if you do that, if you find 729 to the power of one-third, you will get nine. So that's a basic equation with rational exponent. Pretty cool in my humble opinion. Um, so there's not anything that new. We're canceling out, canceling out powers with roots, roots with powers, um, and you just have to, the new thing is remembering how to rewrite this, and also being able to find cube root or whatever root in the calculator by saying power of one over something. So, let's take it up a notch. All right. So, if you want, we can rewrite it right away. Or we can wait till we get rid of this negative one that's outside, either way. Um, this is in parentheses. So everything that's in parentheses being raised to this power of 3 fourths, that's what will go under the radical when we convert it. Okay, that's what is being taken to a power. So um, you can get rid of everything outside of the parentheses first. So here's negative one, so I'm gonna do plus one. These problems love 27 because it makes a nice good root and cube. Okay. So now that we just have this, whatever being taken to a power, that's when I would convert it. So, um, top number goes inside, so for us that's three. Bottom number goes outside, so that's four. 
So 27 equals fourth root of 27x cubed. So before, as always, before we can get inside this radical, we have to get rid of the radical. We can't touch the 3 or the 27 or the x or anything until we get rid of the radical. So you cancel out fourth root by doing power of 4. Just like we cancel out square root with square, cube root with cube, fourth root with fourth power. Always got to do the same to both sides. 27 to the fourth power, that's something that you can do in the calculator. And it is a big number, 531,441. Okay. So fourth root and four canceled out, so we just have 27x cubed. Now again, before we can get to the 27, we have to get rid of the cube. So cube root is canceled out by cube. So cube is canceled out by cube root. Again, in the calculator, you can put 531441 to the power of one third, and you will get 81. Over here with the cube and the cube root canceled, we just have 27x. So if 81 equals 27x, what's the very last step to get x by itself? Divide. And we get x equals 3. Beautiful stuff, right? I knew you'd think so. Okay. Negative 3 plus 8 minus 2x to the 5 fourths equals 29. So again, we can um, get rid of what's outside of the power first, which is the negative 3. We cancel out negative 3 with plus 3. That's 32. Now that we've got this by itself, this rational exponent, we can convert it. Top number goes inside, so that's 5. Bottom number goes outside, so that's 4. And these are the same thing, just rewritten, written differently, right? All right, before we can get to the 8 minus 2x to the fifth, we have to get rid of that fourth root. So we cancel out fourth root with fourth power. And we got to do the same to both sides. That's going to be a big number. Fourth root and fourth power cancel out. Thirty-two to the fourth power gets crazy. And again, you can do this on the calculator. I did this on the calculator. I can multiply thirty-two times thirty-two times thirty-two times thirty-two by hand, but why? Okay. Um. So that's one million forty-eight thousand five hundred seventy-six. Okay. Now, as quick as we made it giant, we can make it small again because this is to the fifth power. So we cancel out power with root. So we see fifth power, we cancel it out with fifth root. Okay. 
Fifth power and fifth root cancel out, so you're left with just your 8 minus 2x. If you enter in the calculator, 1048576 to the power of 1 fifth, right? That's what fifth root is, power of 1 fifth. You will get 16. 8 minus 2x equals 16. So to get x by itself, we will subtract 8 from both sides. Remember, this is still here, right? This minus, so now it's negative 2x. 16 minus 8 is 8. Last step to get x by itself, it's not plus 2. This is negative 2 times x, so it's divide by negative 2. 8 divided by negative 2, positive divided by negative is a negative, so negative 4. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to do because I don't want my video to get too long. So hopefully this is okay.